Hey guys, this is Neil Waterhouse. Today I want to talk to you about how important is price for dropshipping. I get a lot of inquiries about this. Now, price is not the be and all the end of for dropshipping. If though you're selling a product like say an Apple iPhone, it makes a huge difference. Why? Because when people look for an Apple iPhone, they just tend to focus on just a few keywords. Apple, iPhone and whatever the model, current model number is. So if you not, don't have a competitive price, you know, good luck, it's very, very hard to sell. An Apple iPhone is the wrong product for a dropshipper to be selling. Many people want to try and find a cheap wholesaler where they can, who will dropship their items. But the problem with it is the two words contradict each other. A true wholesaler does not want to ship one item to your customer. A true wholesaler wants to sell you 50 or 500 pieces. So wholesalers are not the places that we want to be going for dropshippers. We tend to buy a lot more stuff from online retailers. And then you think, well, how do we compete with that? Well, this is how. Let's take a step sideways. For our import business in Australia, where we import everything from China, 9%, that's in 0.9% of all the items that we sell through our eBay Australia business get sold overseas. Now, when you think about that, we should be selling nothing out of this country because it costs a fortune to ship out of this island. You know, a box this big costs $50 to send to California. Now, because everything we sell comes from China, the same products that we sell are also available in the US and most other countries. Now, if the buyer did a bit more, spent some more time and research, they'd find they could buy the same product from Walmart or from eBay, another eBay seller in the US, you know, for, and not pay that fortune in shipping. In reality, if they did that, they wouldn't buy from us. So why are they buying from us? The reason why is some of our listings are appearing up near the top of the search results in other countries. Why? Because we're using different keywords for those ones, different optimization, different listing templates, etc. Now, using that same strategy, we use the same strategy with the dropship business. We're not competing head to head with another seller. We are optimizing the keywords. We are finding which keywords convert sales historically. So we're going through historical records like we're using Terapeak or we just use eBay looking through the completed listings, uh, sold listings to see which items have sold and what keywords they're using. Now by doing that we can have much more keywords than other sellers and every time you've got another keyword that's proven to convert you're getting more traffic. Another example, when I run eBay seminars I normally put up a picture of a, of a sofa and I say to the audience, what is that? And I ask for a show of hands on what it is. And I'll get words like couch, sofa, modular, lounge, blah, 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 and a whole string of other keywords. Now, why are we getting all different words for the same item? The reason why is simply, we all come from different walks of life. We're brought up differently. We have different vocabulary. Different things mean different things to us, which is why we don't ever want to guess keywords. What I think is a good keyword, for a particular item and what you think is a, is a great keywords for a certain item might not be right. That's why we go through historical proven records to show us you know, what are the right keywords. That's all I've got for you this week. Please give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down. Please leave me a comment either way. You won't, hurt, you won't hurt my feelings. Love to hear from you guys. This is Neil Waterhouse. Talk to you next week. Cheers.